friends, I am Bhavna Panthbodai and I teach science in St. Mary's School. Today, I am going to share with you all an activity based approach for introducing the concept of Kingdom Plantae and its various division to Standard 9. As we all know, plants are very important for our survival and for maintaining the ecosystem. We assume that the students have already studied about Whitaker's Five Kingdom classification. Through activities, the students were able to list out all the characteristics of plant and to classify Kingdom Plantae. Before the commencement of the lesson, I asked my students to figure out the characteristics in the given specimen. I showed them some pictures of seeds and small plants. The specimen selected should be as diverse as possible. In the activity, each student can pick any plant and write its common name on a slip of paper. Now, let students think. How is their plant similar to and different from other plants? What traits do they pick? Leaves, seed, flowers, fruits, how do they describe these traits in their plants? By using activity based approach, my student would able to find out what they don't know from what they know. And during that process, their misconception would be cleared out. Our next activity will help us in understanding the defining characteristics of plants. For this activity, we again need a few specimen of plants. Students can be asked to bring in seeds, flowers, saplings, etc. In case a specimen was difficult to find, I used photos of those plants. Through this activity, we want to introduce the concept of monocotyledons, dicotyledons, cryptogams, phanerogams, gymnosperm, angiosperm, well-defined roots and poorly defined roots. So, make sure that your list of specimen has most of these. Ask students to categorize the specimen in these categories. With this activity, I also introduced the idea of primitive and advanced characteristics. Some of these were quite intuitive. Once this is done, students were asked to prepare a flowchart of the characteristics observed from primitive to advanced. A sample flowchart is shown on the screen. We also discussed which characteristics came first and how they evolved. Thanks to this activity, my students had begun to classify the plants based on their characteristic. I strongly recommend to use as many plant specimen as possible. Instead of bombarding the students with all these new terminology, I would suggest it would be better if the student would learn each and every characteristic on their own by finding them in the specimen provided to them. Even a tour to a local botanical garden is going to help them a lot. Now I introduced all the new terms to my students, I encourage them to get some plants to the school. Then we asked the other students to list out the characteristic and to my surprise, the students were able to list out the characteristics of all those plants. This will help you assess your students understanding. After doing all these activities, my students were amazed to see the diverse and beautiful world of plant and I assure you this will happen in your class too. For that, the link of the lesson plan is given in the description box. Please share your feedback with us. Thank you for watching.